Hey guys, what's up, and welcome back to another video. Today, well, I forgot to hit the record button on this video. I know how much of an idiot I am, but that's okay. At least the video is coming out now. Today, this has been a requested video on my channel. Today, what we are going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you guys how you can disable the BLC admin pop-up because every time you open up Babylon, it'll just bring up like a screen that says like yes or no. Sometimes you have to enter a password. I don't know if this trick will work if you um, enter a password in or not, but I know that if you just have to click yes or no, this will disable that so that it always works. And this, uh, the reason it does that in the first place is because Bad Lion, the anti-cheat on it, BLC, or yeah, BAC, um, the BAC anti-cheat requires admin to check the files on your computer and stuff, which can get annoying after a while, after it like asks you every single time. And so, there is a way to still keep BAC and disable that at the same time. So I'm about to show you guys how to do that and let's jump into the video. Okay guys, so I just woke up, so sorry if like, I don't know, sorry if this video feels like a low quality or sorry if I sound like I just woke up because I did. And so first step is you're going to want to go to your search bar and type in task schedule or scheduler just like this and then it'll pop up with this click on it and it'll bring you to a window just like this and then you're going to want to left click on this and then right here click on new folder okay and then enter the name of the new folder so i'm going to do bac because i am actually basically just turning a guide into a video um up BAC and then press OK and then go right here BAC and then right click on this folder and choose create task and then what you want to do is in the pop-up that comes up like this you want to enter in a short name without spaces in it like let's say back no admin or blc no admin maybe so i'm gonna call mine blc no admin but you can call it whatever you want just try not to use like caps and spaces and you're probably fine i don't know if caps will work but or i don't know if caps won't work necessarily but just stay away from it uh tick the checkbox that says run with highest privileges right here because obviously that's what UAC the admin thing does. And then click on the actions tab and click on new action. So just new. And then action, start a program. And then you want to go to the Babylon client.exe file. So on most computers, it's going to be in C, program files. Bad line client and then it's going to be called bad line client.exe just like this and then you're going to have to do that just like this and then next you're going to, need to fill out this start in text box so this command will be in the description so you can just paste it in assuming that your bad line directory is the same as mine paste it in just like that so C program files bad line client just like that and then click OK and then go to settings. Allow task to be run on demand. Make sure that that's ticked. And untick this. And then untick this or uncheck, whatever. So then you have all of this just like that. And then press OK. And then you're good. So you can close out of this. And then on your desktop, right click, click on new, and then shortcut. And then right here it says type the location of this item. So I'll have the command in the description for you to paste in. Basically, you're going to paste in this SCH tasks slash run slash TN and then BAC slash and then whatever the name of your task was. So like mine was BLC no admin. Just type it in right there and then click on next. And then for the name of this shortcut, I'm going to type in bad lion right here. You can do bad lion client actually because that's what it's actually called as you can see. So I'm going to do bad lion client. And it says a shortcut named Badline Client already exists because that's because I have it on my desktop. I'm going to replace it just like that. 
and then as you can see this is right here but we are not done because first what we have to do is make this the bad line client icon just for that finishing touch so right click on this and then click on properties and then from there click on change icon right there and then it'll say this click OK and then browse so that you go to local disk C program files Babylon client and then go down to Babylon client exe and then just like this and then apply and okay so now as you can see you have Babylon client and I'm going to unpin this one from my taskbar so that it doesn't ask for admin and then I'm going to pin this one to the taskbar so that now I have Babylon again but it's just the one that won't ask for admin so now guys to make sure that this works all you have to do is click on it and then it will open up a command prompt for a second there but then as you can see it's still going to run Babylon with like everything but as you can see it doesn't ask for admin at all so that's just a pretty useful thing I don't know if you guys if this is going to be that helpful to most people but it's kind of more convenient and stuff so yeah guys if you enjoyed this video and it helped you out please leave a like and subscribe to the channel and if you have any questions about this or something's not working for you make sure to leave a comment and I will get back to you ASAP but yeah guys that's going to be it for this video thank you all so much for watching and as always I will see you guys in the next video on the channel everything changes